Hello, welcome to Sewing Basics with a Machine. Today I'm going to go over a few different fabrics. Fabrics can really make or break your project, so it is very important to choose the correct type. The pattern you are using will often give you guidance on what is best for that project. First, we'll talk about cotton woven. This is a popular choice and you will typically see the most of this in fabric stores. It typically has no stretch. It's versatile and inexpensive. Next we have flannel. Flannel is a type of cotton woven, but it has been soft brushed to make it softer to the touch than traditional cotton woven. Flannel typically has no stretch. Linen is another popular fabric choice as it is versatile and inexpensive with no stretch. It has good breathability, which makes it ideal in hot and humid climates for garments. It's also popular for home goods such as tablecloths and drapes. There are lots of special occasion fabrics such as satin and lace. These can be tricky to sew with. You can get lace stretchy or not, depending on your application. Traditional satin has no stretch and has a shiny side and a flat side. This shine tends to make it slippery, hence the trickiness when sewing. It frays quite a bit, so care needs to be taken when cutting and finishing your seams. Another kind of fabric I will just touch on briefly are knits. Knits tends to be the general term we use for fabric that is stretchy. Yarns create interlocking loops to form a knitted fabric. Make sure your fabric has the stretch percentage called for in your pattern. This will assure that the garment fits as intended. Moving on, an important thing to know and understand is grain line. The border edge here is called the selvage. The straight grain, often referred to as the grain line, will run parallel to that selvage. It will not have stretch when pulling in that direction. The cross grain will run perpendicular to the selvage. It won't have much stretch either, but slightly more than the straight grain. The bias grain will run diagonal from the selvage. This will have the most stretch and play in the fabric due to how the yarns are woven to make the fabric. When using patterns, there will be an arrow or marking of some sort that will show you how the grain line needs to run. It's important to position your pattern and fabric so that the grain line runs with that arrow and is straight. I'll quickly show you an example of why this is important. In apparel, you typically want the straight grain to run vertically down your body. If you cut your fabric with the grain crooked, your, in this instance, pants, will twist as you are wearing them. The fabric will naturally try to line itself up with the straight grain. So for good results, follow the grain markings. With knits, such as this shirt, stretch is another important factor. You'll typically want the direction with the most stretch to run horizontally around your body. Be sure your garment fits by paying attention to the stretch markings on the pattern. Thanks for watching. Tune in Monday to make a simple project by hand. On Friday, we'll do that same project, but on the machine.